welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your uh, weekly Anything Goes. Uh, this will be uh, February 8th through the 14th. Please remember this is a general reading. Timing is flexible. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, my playlist link if you want to check out uh, your other signs uh, for messages. Also personal readings. And what else do I have down there? Oh, the giveaway. So if you're new to my channel, I do do a giveaway every month. Um, I give away cash prizes, some other prizes. We just did uh, the last one uh, just this past Saturday. Okay, so a lot of fun. So I do it at the end of every month. Uh, so details are below. So let's get started with your reading. I hope everyone is doing well staying healthy and safe i just oh i just pulled uh one card from the healing uh oracle a couple cards from the wisdom of the oracle so let's start here so your first card um, is called the path to light i make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. So beautiful um, message here. I feel Leo, there may be something uh, that you're very passionate about, okay? Uh, maybe serving others or projecting your light to others, but beautiful, beautiful message here for you. I always say too, you can always take a screenshot if this is like a daily affirmation you want to say. Uh, so very nice message there. So let's look at uh, your oracles. Okay. <laughs> All right, Leo, I think you've been doing, look at that. All right. So or I get excited before I even read the cards here. You have number 24, which is six, which is take a nap. Okay, so some of you may, may be working too hard, maybe needing uh, to get some rest, okay? Uh, Leo, you guys are hard workers. You also have thinker number 44, okay? Number eight. So I feel here uh, you've got something on your mind, Leo, okay? You may be thinking a lot. All right, that could be why you're needing a nap, okay? Taking a lot of time thinking. Sometimes thinking can drain us if we're thinking about the same thing over and over. Uh, number 44, which is eight. So I feel like this could be something uh, for you that has to do with security, stability, um, but also infinite possibilities, okay? So I feel like you really got your thinking cap on. Then you have here number 27, which is nine, which is exchanging gifts, okay? So you may be exchanging gifts with someone. Uh, someone might be giving you a gift, but I really feel like this is, you know, in this first, car first card, the path to light. I feel like this is about you sharing your gifts, okay, uh, with other people, all right? So very uh, nice message. I'm also hearing for some of you, um, Maybe you barter with other people, um, you know, whatever profession you're in, maybe you exchange, you barter uh, for other services. I'm hearing that message as well. But this is a number nine card, so this is about your destiny. And I feel like it's it has to do with your path and your life purpose, you just sharing uh, your gifts. And, you know, the last sentence here is, I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you may, uh, you may already be doing this or you may be thinking about this, okay? Some of you may have some extra time on your hands as well. Uh, so let's get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages? Oh, now let me do my little prayer first. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Leo is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Leo the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this will give Leo clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. So one card dropped out. See, look at that. 
sharing your gifts with others okay helping others when people are in need so beautiful message here i really feel like that's what this six of pentacles is and then also with the uh, empress card so i feel like you're really vibrating the light right now okay your vibrations are very high um, some of you may be manifesting uh, also you could receive some sort of gift here as well as i was saying but i really feel like this is about you and being able to help others so beautiful message there uh, things coming into balance for you <coughs> excuse me let's uh, pull some more cards thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for leo february 8th through the 14th what does leo need to know let's get three cards beautiful you came out first card sun card you have the world card very nice big change here and the high priestess three major arcana cards there you have the knight of cups let's get two more let's get two more you have the nine of wands and you have the death card bottom of the deck here you have the ten of wands okay right away i heard the struggles almost over so if you've been struggling here i feel like you've been working hard or you've been going through a lot of challenges here and thinking a lot about the situation that struggles almost over here with this ten of wands you have the sun card and you have the knight of cups okay so you have a uh, water energy here cancer scorpio pisces your energy here leo okay so I feel like there is some sort of new proposal, okay, coming in for you. Now, this can be uh, past energy. This is showing up in past position, uh, but it may not have happened yet for some of you because the timing can be, you know, different, okay? But I do sense here there is some something new starting here, a new beginning, um, growth, development. Uh, this can be, you know, some sort of kind gesture so some of you you may be receiving money uh, from someone helping you out oh but um, I feel like for a lot of you this can be you also giving um, this can also be a romantic gesture as well okay somebody asking you on a date uh, that makes you really happy here so beautiful energy I see growth and opportunity here with whatever this proposal is that has come in or is is uh, going to come in now you have the nine of wands and you have the world card so I feel like this is something you've been waiting for I talked about uh, the challenges the obstacles you may you may be ca carrying a heavy load or a, a heavy workload that's why time for a nap is here um, your energy here we also have Aquarius uh, Leo Taurus and Scorpio with the world card okay so I feel like there's something here that is going to shift for you okay something very positive uh, some of you it may as I said it may be this new path that you are taking okay to um, explore your gifts or to share your gifts with others okay so you may be feeling a little beat up thinking a lot about this situation you have the high priestess and you have the death card okay could be dealing with a scorpio a cancer or a pisces here and i feel like this is a whole new start for you a new transformation i feel you know this is a renewal for you okay going into something new um the challenge here could be that there is something coming to an end with this ten of wands um, but can also be the ending of something that recently happened here okay uh, this is also telling me here you're very intuitive okay maybe feeling um, that you already feel that whatever the situation is for you that it's new it's a new path for you okay and there's something you know very nice coming out of this with this exchange gifts i feel like this is more of you um sharing your gifts with the world okay but as i said i heard that energy of you bartering with someone so it may be a time where 
you know, someone is helping you out and uh, with the six of coin and you are providing some other service, you know, without money exchange, okay, or where you're not, uh, you know, you're receiving money, but you're, you're helping someone else out too. So let's uh, get some clarity on these cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the sun and the knight of cups here, please? Two of wands. Why is the world card and the nine of wands here, please? High priestess. High priestess twice. Why is the high priestess and the death card here, please? Okay, so we have the hierophant. Bottom of the deck, uh, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So, you know, as I said, it can be you, uh, the person who is very giving here. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's very giving, very kind. Uh, can also be a very emotional time for you as well. All right. That's why uh, I feel here. You know, maybe the emotions of it are causing this overthinking, but you have uh, the two of wands. Okay, so I feel like whatever this proposal that's coming in, it's really leading you on a new path. And I feel like you're trying to make that decision here. Okay, two paths to take. Okay, do I stay on my current path or do i move look at that do i move to the path of light that's the energy that i'm feeling here's the light okay uh we have the high priestess okay so second time you have the high priestess i feel like this is a big life change for you uh, and i feel like you may be having a little bit of a hard time with it um overthinking it possibly but they're saying here, really listen to your intuition, okay? Really do what is best for you in the situation. Now, you can see highlighted here, <clears throat> I don't always say this for every reading, but there's letters J and B, okay? J or, J or B may be very important to you at this time. It can be a person, a place, um, or some other thing that is important to you. You have the Hierophant, okay? Again, you may be becoming more spiritual, okay? You may be um, uh, really, I'm hearing, conforming to your traditional beliefs or values here. Some of you may, um, as I said, I feel like some of you have gifts, okay? You may have spiritual gifts. So some of you may be uh, doing some learning or, you know, really connecting spiritually. I feel, uh, you know, this is a rebirth for you. Okay, I feel like this is really a rebirth for you, uh, but I feel like you're really trying to make that decision whether you're going to go on this path or not. Okay, I really feel like this is about uh, not so much a relationship. It can be, I mean, it can be, you got Taurus energy here as well. I mean, it can be, um, you know, a relationship. There's a renewal in the relationship or it can be a new person here that you're trying to make a decision, okay? Could very well lead to marriage, but I really feel this is more about your um, your personal path here, okay? Your personal path here and what you can bring to others with your gifts and your light. Okay, we're gonna pull one message here um, from Spirit. This is uh, one message from your spirit guides or can be from a loved one who has passed on. So let's pull this card. Okay, so this is really interesting. <laughs> this card came out uh, for Aries, okay? So if you have Aries in your chart, it's very interesting because that's why I cut the cards so I can try to pull the most random card that is meant to come out. So dear wonderful Leo, intimacy is scary sometimes. It means you have to let someone else get to know the real you, not the perfect flawless mask you wear for others. Know it's time to reveal the cool one, the passionate one, the imperfect one that is totally you without artifice or walls. Yes, you will be exposed and vulnerable for a time, but it will be so worth it. 
This is the only way you will know true closeness with others and you will also be close to the spirit and to us. There is amazing freedom that comes when you let go and just be yourself with another or a group. Release from the invisible bindings that keep you from intimacy is truly empower, empower, empowering. Sorry. So may we support you wholeheartedly in this choice. You will know yourself better, we hope. Learn to love yourself as much as we do. Life is about who we are with others, so share it. You will be so glad you did. Loving you so, so much. And that last um, sentence, <clears throat> life is about who we are with others, so share it. Yeah. I feel, Leo, you really have a gift that you need to share with the people around you. So um, I hope you gained some clarity here, Leo. Uh, again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.